In this video, I will tell you about types of stuttering and the differences between them, and which types of stuttering are curable and which ones are not. All speech defects can be divided in two types of stuttering, mechanical stuttering and logoneurosis. In mechanical stuttering, a person stutters everywhere and every time. Stuttering consists of repeating specific sounds and syllabus. The stuttering person can always say desired phrase, can always make a desired sound, except that his or her sounds and syllabus keep repeating. Здесь я, 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 я поставил к, к полу на у, у, уголке середки по, по, поставил на, на десятку. Логоневроз cases are more difficult. A person with logoneurosis tries to say a specific phrase but instead gets seizures and spasm on their face. Um, but um, everything. In addition, if a person with logoneurosis thinks ahead of a specific word that he or she won't be able to pronounce, and that particular word will cause a block. And by trying to say that particular word, a person will have a block, and by pushing it through, a person with logoneurosis will get a seizure on their face. And after so many situations where a person with logoneurosis gets words blocked in their head ahead of time, knowing that they will have a spasm, they stop trying to pronounce specific words and instead switch the word in their head to a similar one really quick in order to avoid the spasm and doing so allowed them to speak without stuttering. Logoneurosis could be severe and semi-severe form. There are some people that aren't able to pronounce without the stutter everywhere and all the time even when they are in a comfortable situation alone. There are some people that are unable to speak without the stutter in front of other people, but when they are alone, they can speak like a normal person without a stutter. Stuttering can be congenital or acquired. Congenital stuttering happens if your family has ever had gene mutation that has been coming from generations to generations. That type of stuttering is currently not curable. Stuttering can also be caused by reduced cerebral blood flow of the frontal and central parts of the brain. This kind of uh, stuttering is also currently not curable. Acquired stuttering can be caused by the fact that a person being teased or copied by another stuttering person. If you try to repeat certain syllabus on purpose, then your body memorizes repetition of syllabus which causes this person to stutter for the rest of their life. This kind of stuttering is completely curable. You can acquire this stuttering any time during your life. For example, if you hit your head, damage your speech centers, get into a car accident, have a heart attack, or lots of other reasons. That type of stuttering is currently not curable. Logoneurosis can also be acquired. To get logoneurosis could also be because of copying another person with logoneurosis. If a person learns how to make spasm and blocks, body memorizes it in the future attempts to speak. This kind of logoneurosis is completely curable. And last but not least, a person can acquire logoneurosis after a big fright or emotional stress. After a fright, a person's larynx gets shut and the person is unable to speak. The body memorizes it and logoneurosis becomes a part of the person's speech. After that, every time person try to say something, they have either a spasm or block in their head. This kind of logoneurosis is completely curable. I created a course that will help you completely cure your logoneurosis. 
So if you are even being frightened or had emotional trauma that caused you to have logo neurosis, send me a message to purchase my course and completely get rid of your problem. If you are not sure what kind of stuttering you have or logoneurosis, send me a short video of your speech via telegram or by email and I will be able to determine what kind of stuttering you have and if it's curable. More details about my course can be found in links below.